Hey guys, welcome to the video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to show you what you can do if you're seeing that your call history is being shared between your devices after the iOS 17 update, which a lot of users have started to report. So what can you do if you're seeing the shared call history between your devices? Well, the first thing is with iOS 17 now is that Apple is recommending that you do not share Apple ID for your uh, different devices or with someone else you want specifically Apple ID that's uh, for you only so you can of course share it with devices that you have yourself like an iPad a MacBook and iPhone but if it's someone else is using it and you don't want their call log history on your iPhone to show up similarly the voicemail also does show up is that you need to stop sharing the Apple ID and create a separate Apple ID for them as well. So if they're using your Apple ID, right, you'll see their call log show up on your iPhone after you do the iOS 17 update. And that's something Apple is starting to kind of enforce going forward. And that's probably gonna be the way it is where you cannot any longer share Apple ID with someone else. Apple ID should be unique to yourself as well. So in, you might be wondering, well, I want to be able to share my purchases for subscription apps, music, or movies, uh, things like that. So how can I do that if I'm not sharing your Apple ID account with them? Well, the way to do it, the correct way Apple is steering users to do is doing family sharing. So if you're not familiar with family sharing, if you go into your setting of your iPhone, click on your name up here, you'll see there's an option for family sharing. So I'm gonna go ahead and quickly stop the family sharing to show you what happens when you set up family sharing. So if you don't know what family sharing is, basically if you click on this option, right, it tells you with a family sharing feature, you can share your subscription of music, movies, and other media purchases with up to five people in your contact so they don't have to also purchase subscription music and such things for their iPhone without having to share the same Apple ID to avoid that. So as you can see, you can share subscriptions like uh, iCloud Plus, Apple Music, Apple TV, and then also uh, purchases for apps, or movies, TV shows, and books, and also set up parental control. So you'll do is set this up, family sharing, and once you set up family sharing, it's really simple. You should see the list of people that Apple will suggest, or you can invite them by clicking on that invite. And then you can message them where this will come up and they'll click on this link and they can join so that they can uh, share. Then you can share with them the apps, movies, TV shows, books, and much more without having to use the Apple ID. And once you do that, uh, you need to, uh, of course, get them to sign off from your Apple account here that you're using. If they're using the same one, have them create one, which is free to do, right? They can create their own one on their devices and that should prevent them from getting uh, your call history log on their phone and vice versa you receiving there so again that's the only solution going forward now if you're looking to separate them with using the same apple id it just won't be possible with ios 17 that's kind of where apple is headed to so the best solution going forward with newer updates that will come out is just separating again apple id per user instead of sharing the same apple id and then using family sharing as the solution i know this is probably not the solution you are looking for, but that's kind of the way Apple is going towards with their updates uh, in the future as well. So might as well just uh, go with the family sharing feature. And I hope you guys uh, found this video helpful, uh, at least to for solving this problem. If so, please make sure to like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time.